All right, there we go. Hi everyone, how's it going? Team here and oh come on, <laughs> god damn it, the game just crashed. Um, I will have to restart that. This is a preview build, so this is very much expected. It has a bunch of uh, known issues that are well, you know, gonna be fixed by the day one patch. So let me just restart that. It was working just fine before I started the stream. So let me hope. Uh, maybe let me tweak this stuff a bit. Uh, maybe like this. One game. Come on, load already. Hopefully um, it won't crash anymore. There we go, controller strongly recommended. Are we good now? You see it? Yes, you can see it. Okay, so that should be fine. Let's, let's get cracking. So I'm playing with a controller as it is strongly recommended. Just gonna see how that works. Um, let's have a look at the options real quick. So I tweak the graphics. Uh, do we have any subtitles or anything like that? Not really, it seems, right? Yep, nope, we're good. Okay. You know what? That's maybe they maybe you don't need subtitles in this game. I don't know how that works. Let's just jump in and see. Um, I will like I've only seen the preview materials for this game basically, and only know the studio from their previous game, which is the stories, which I absolutely loved. Uh, so I actually have no idea what we're getting into. What do we want to play? Um, full narrative experience, significant increase in gameplay difficulty, and um, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go for balanced for now. And uh, yes, let's see how this works out and uh, let's hope I'm not going to be completely terrible. I am playing with a gamepad, why do I see my mouse? Thank you very much. Duralia, a prosperous land, home to many tribes. The gods entrusted the bird tribes to watch over the others. The tribe founded Pegaria and all lived in harmony under the banner of the Pegarian Empire. Until seven years ago, when Pegaria began recruiting the dog and cat tribes. As their strength grew, the other tribes suffered. To protect themselves from Pegarian oppression, the scattered rodent and bear tribes formed an alliance, led by a rebel named Ratika. Tonight, the Pegarian Empire launches a brutal assault on the Rodentian capital under orders of Emperor Adrian. When the capital falls, his conquest of Euralia will be final. And far from the front lines, one who could have brought peace, the godless priestess Vera, has been murdered. In her absence, there is no one left to protect Euralia and its people. The end times are near. Euralia needs a savior. Okay, so they're continuing the whole like animal kingdom stuff, which worked pretty well for the stories actually. Just, uh, the art style seems really similar here as well, which I'm absolutely digging. And there's also supposed to be some time travel stuff involved, so I don't know what's going on. We're gonna find out in a second. Okay, what is happening and what is that? Can I do anything? Not yet. Okay, I can... I guess this is a level select. Crimson Forest, let's go. Yep, the same style from the trailers. Looks pretty great. about redemption sorcery kill the intruder quick but sir did that throw that sword is it the harbinger what do you think it's the end of the world do you see any floods any earthquakes no sir but the elders they say the harbinger comes to prevent the end of the world not cause it could be the harbinger or a redemption sorcerer. I'm not taking any chances. They also have a very long hair. So, okay, X as attack, B as dodge. Uh, dodging can interrupt almost any other action. Okay, so let's see how fluid this is. Oh, nope, nope, nope. That fails quite good. 
That feels really good. Okay, the combat is solid. Quite simplistic right now, but we'll see how that will develop over time. Do we have any secrets? I can roll, I can um, strike. I cannot really do anything else yet, but there's a lot of buttons on this controller. Uh huh. We got some platforming going on. Okay. Now what? Oh shit. <laughs> okay. I guess we're not going back. Can break some barrels. What is this stuff? Can I. There is some crystals. I don't know what those are. Okay, so you don't really control the camera that much. It seems to be more or less fixed. Is this game doing what I'm think it is doing? Like we're gonna travel to past and then change the outcome of the whole thing? Is that how it's gonna work? Come on. Because if it is, this is definitely something I would love. I mean, I I absolutely love the story stuff and how it approached the uh, storytelling. Okay, wait a second. I need to destroy those barrels and get those things inside them, whatever that is. We have a lot of them, right? Yep, I am getting all of that. Thank you very much. There we go. Okay, so let's see. Um, Did I just revive a bear? Bond with Ludomir's soul is created by fate. Ludomir was a great warrior loyal to Rodanian clans. You can feel the hatred for he had for Emperor was on Mac. Okay, so what does it give me? Okay, so I got a soul of a bear with me now. I don't know how that helps us, but uh, sure. Let us continue. Let's not fall down, that will be unfortunate. Oh, wait a second, I need those barrels. Nothing in them. Alright. What? No, just jump down. I uh, can see the progressing thing. Any barrels? Nope. Alright, what is this? It is. Did you investigate the godless priestess? Look in your eyes. You have never heard of the priestess. Mm. Where to begin? Ever since the first godless priestess appeared, the world has been a safer place. Has it? She scares the darkness away. But now the priestess is dead. Murdered. I am certain this is what has brought you here. Her murder is a sign of great danger. Oh, I only wish I had more time to help. I am nearly convinced we're gonna do time travel to fix all of this mess. After all those dialogues. Okay, what's up? Uh, I should have seen it. Okay, so we got another soul. This one is one of the Emperor Generals. Uh huh, and she trusts the, the Emperor. Wait, did you kill General Triga? Murderer! I'll have your head for this! 
So far, yes, it does look... Whoa, nope. Oh, nope. It does look quite similar to story, but still, um, like, at least from the promo materials, there was quite lots of differences as well. Nope. Oh, come on. Did I screw up my chain? Yes, I did. There we go. What? What? I don't know what you're testing, I can see your messages just fine in the chat. <laughs> okay, looks like the whatever world they have is royally screwed. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. After three hundred years, the great serpent Bodin has returned to devour the world. The Harbinger, awakened to fight the death. Learned of the godless priestess, of her role in protecting Euralia, and of her murder. But it was no simple murder. The immortal soul of the priestess always returns to the world. Always. But not this time. Vodin's return was planned. The world has ended. But there is yet a flicker of hope. Harbinger! Focus on my voice. Let me help. Are we getting time trial powers now? Okay. I'm guessing this skull on the top means the world is screwed, basically, right? Do we get like four turns to try and fix everything? It looks amazingly good. Yeah, I mean, the style of those guys is incredible. No, I have no idea who you are. Hey, Jamal, welcome to the stream. <laughs> we have no time to worry about that. Know that you are the Harbinger. You are the eyes of Euralia. You are its sword. And you are the only hope we have left. When Vodin is done devouring the world, he will find this sword. No, he is already searching for it. And when he finds it, Fighting Bodin is now impossible. Too strong. Even if you are victorious, there is not much of a world left to save. Harbinger, I brought you here for a reason. There is a way to save Euralia, but it will not be easy. I cannot force you to accept it. But if you are willing, then come to me. Okay, you have to wait. Yes, XP. I will do that. I need to level up first. You've gained enough Ember. Okay, so this is what it was. To receive a blessing. Offer tribute before Anvil in exchange for various benefits. Alright, so. Got this thing. And this levels us up. Okay, and that unlocks new skills. Hold and release. Okay, so launching projectiles. Um, whoops, there was not a button I wanted to press, but whatever. So you can store open reminder. Okay, so there's a bunch of skills we can unlock. And this one does what requires one. I don't know one what. What is that? Oh, there's... Okay, so I cannot use it. However, I have to first gather some energy. Okay, let's do the ember thing. Okay, so we can increase maximum health, we can increase the amount of damage dealt by heavy attacks, very specific, and perfect dodge, dodging at the last moment, will slow down time. Okay, um, guess let's go for the damage for now. Alright, some upgrades going on, let's talk to the witch. Thank you, Harbinger. The tree of life. There is ancient power here, one that transcends the bonds of space and time. That power... There we go, time traveling. ...into the past. You will have a chance to investigate the death of the godless priestess. If you find her soul, then the Tree of Life can spin it back to Euralia, 
and that may be enough to prevent Vodin from appearing in the first place. And we have a suspect, Emperor Ingrid. You saw his war. There is no end to his ambition and cruelty. He may even be mad enough to unleash Vodin. I'm betting that's not him. The godless princess and hiding her soul. Her soul that you bonded with. The tree can latch onto them. Send you to the dawn of their last day. Ah, that's what is it about the souls. He died at the hands of the Emperor. If you meet Ludomir before his death, if you follow him, you will find Ingrid. Then there is Draga, who seems to understand the Sith. She may help your investigation in a way no one else can. Investigate the Emperor and the death of the godless priestess. Find her soul. But which lead will you follow? Draga or Ludomir? Make your choice. Wait, can I only do one? Act one, okay. Uh, they mutually exclusive. So, let's go, let's go. You know what, let's go with Ludomir. Because that just looks great. <laughs> I don't want to follow a bear around because why not? Hurry, Harbinger. Do not let the tree falter and die. Okay, so we are all the way back. And now we have another timeline essentially. Listen to me. They will cut you down before you reach the gates. And what do you suggest? Wait for it to be over? Yeah, everything will be tickety-boo. At least bring a squad along. Who, eh? Rapika's mob. Everyone's up their arse at the big fight. Besides, they'll just get in the way. Nah, I'll kill the Emperor on my own. You mean, die trying. You better pay your tab before you go. That seat's taken, mate. Ludomir, that's... It's the Harbinger. Ha! Harbinger, my ass. Except, well, she matches the storybook pictures. Sort of. Ludomir! <laughs> Harbinger. Please forgive him. Uh, he doesn't... Well, if you are the Harbinger, what are you here for? Taking in the sights? Before Rogentia is rubble, I suppose. What's that look for? I didn't cause this mess. <laughs> Thank Kendrick for that. Well, as much fun as this chat has been, I'm off. Big day. Okay. Apparently Harbinger is not much of a talker. <laughs> kind of curious how like it cannot be just the fights all the time right so there has to be something more to the game so we got yarbox temple let's go Tagging along, eh? you know it's a suicide mission right and this stuff looks gorgeous Is there anything behind us secrets no secrets no okay unfortunate let's go uh, barrels, wait a second. I know there's currency in here. I need that. There we go. Alright. No oh, shit. Okay, I missed that. Okay, I am really curious to see what do they have else in store because like so far it's been like combat and some storyline, which is great, but uh, He will throw you to a higher point. Oh, okay. So we got some partner mechanics nice Why are we stuck here, sir? Who missed the battle? Our job There's a chest no one is to disturb the Emperor. Okay. Bear wait. I saw some stuff here. Does it have any loot? Yes, it does. It's health. Okay, good. I get some money. Some random frame drops, which is a bit weird. 
But then again, this is a pre-release build and there's going to be a day one patch that is supposed to fix a lot of issues with the game that are currently here. So, wait, I am waiting for loot. Wait a second, I need... Aha! Uh -huh. So this is the story stuff going on around. You need a special sword to unlock that probably or special key or whatever. So, let's see what else do we have. What is this thing? Interact. New memory obtained. What? Indrik. Okay, so you can actually get the whole backstory of the whole world, which is pretty awesome. I like that. Um, we'll not read that now. Okay, so we go... I guess we can just go together with him. Hello? There. Yes. Crystals, thank you very much. Oh, we got a thousand, so we got another upgrade, basically. Really nice to get a bit more. Anything in here? Um, can I can I break that? Nope. Apparently. Oh wait, maybe why? Nope. Guess I am lacking some skills, so I feel like I'm gonna be replaying that. Uh, or I guess I'm gonna be in that level for more. All right. RT companion ability. Okay, so there's more of them every day. They just pop in, they kill anything on sight. All right. Are we done? No, we're not. I think we're done now, right? Yep. What? Oh, wait a sec. I could have used his ability to knock down that pillar. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. I didn't know about that. How am I supposed to know about that game? Okay, the FPS is really dropping. I am guessing it might be because of the streaming software as it typically happens or because of the problems in the pre-release builds. Um, okay, you know what? I'm gonna play it anyway because so far it's been great. <laughs> okay, let's see. There we go, that's a bit better on the FPS side. See a chest. What the? Sir, wait for my order. Let them weaken each other. Oh shit, come on. Sort off. There we go. Keep the pressure on. Oh, it actually freezes time. That's it. Oh, come on! How did I miss that? Oh, come on! And it seems like, like the combat is simple, but man, I'm screwing that stuff up royally. Come on. Nope. There we go. Okay, nice. Okay, we got some health. That's a good thing. Wait, I have to first find all the loot. Hmm. That was a chest, right? It was a given two chests or something. Yes, yes, okay. I'll take all... Wait, well, she just flew down. Come on, game, st stop ticking me over on currency. <laughs> okay, getting a bit self-conscious here. All right, cool. So we got plenty of upgrade currency right now, which is nice. Uh, let's go up. Ugh, I can smell Indrik's stinky feathers. This is the way. All right. 
Yeah, there's FPS drops. I am not sure what causes that. I should try playing it without the streaming software. Or maybe just wait for the day one patch. Hey, like, you know what? I can stream up until act two. So this is what we're gonna do. And uh, no, wait, you know what? I need those money. I need, I need to upgrade my shit. So we're gonna just finish act one and then stop the stream, I guess. And then maybe I'll stream a bit more after the release day, the patches and everything. As this is a bit discouraging, just just a tiny bit. Come on, right? Wait, I need smash barrels. <laughs> okay, that's it. I think. Uh, is that something there? No, that's nothing. Okay. okay. Can I go in here? Oh, I can't. Okay. Oh, he actually smashes near you, not where he's standing. Aha. All right. Oh shit, how did I not dodge that? On game. There we go. Noticed all those locked doors we passed. Fancy mystical seals. And this one? This door is special. It's where all the emperors are buried. Think of all the secrets they took with them. I guess we're going there at some point. There's no getting through. We're gonna get Indrik with us? Oh, game, come on. What are you hiding from me? Yeah, I see some barrels here. <laughs> ah, there we go. Some healing. And uh, let us proceed. This game is absolutely gorgeous. This is definitely a thing. Okay, come on. Ah, how did I not, not dodge that again? Come on. Nope. Screw your surrender. I'm gonna murder you anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. So his, his skill has a cooldown. Alright, got it. That looks absolutely beautiful. Okay then, let's not fall down. That's gonna be really bad for us. And the platforming seems to be very well made. No problems with jumping over that or figuring out where I have to land. That is always good to know. Nice. Okay, we got more people to fight. They are slightly tiny right now. There we go. Whoa, he's got some skills. Yep. Well, nope, you are not going to damage me. Nice. Okay, nailing the dodges feels absolutely awesome. Anyone else? Nope. Hey, wait a second. I want those barrels and I want those points or whatever they are called. I already forgot. Okay, what the shit are you doing here? Look at me. My 
charge must be dealt with. I can always trust in you to blindly charge in without... Um, thank you, dear. Ah, uh, don't worry your feathers over it, Emperor. I'm here to end you. I've had to come to this. I once saw greatness in you, but I did not press hard enough. All right, let's hit him hard, mate. I'm okay. sorry that Ludwig pulled you into his foolishness, mate. Now you both die. Here's a question: Can we actually kill him, or will it be just like, oh, what? Fuck. That's our cue, mate. Run. Wait, what? <laughs> is, is that how we defeat the Emperor? You look upset, mate. What? Did you want to chat with our late Emperor? Have a spot of tea, maybe? <laughs> Wait, what the hell just happened? Ow! F your shit game. I guess I can maybe dodge forward through them. Is that this thing? Uh, no, what? What? Why would you do that? You... <laughs> you just murdered me. Okay, let's try that again. Guess I should not dodge in front of him because he just destroyed his path. Ah. There we go. Okay. Let's take it slow and easy. Uh, okay, do not dodge forwards. Just let them fall and then walk through. There we go. Okay, now we walk in the correct place. And not die a terrible death. There we go. Okay then. I enjoy dodging collapsing giant stone structures as much as the next bloke, but I wouldn't mind a drink right now. Did we just change the future? Where's that bartender? Fjordborg! Come out here! I'm not dead with these you're open for business. Fine. I'll celebrate with my friend here. Harbinger, or whatever it is you call yourself. You did good back there. But I wouldn't survive on my own, that's for sure. So much for long live the Emperor. More like they burn in hell and the world's better off for it. Never thought I'd live to see Endric gone. After all, he... Ah, uh, I'm blathering on. Your turn, Harbinger. Now that we killed Indrik, is your, uh, mission complete? It's a very good question. I guess we did not stop anything. And Vodin must be stopped. Investigation orb. Those are the clues you have uncovered today. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, we got near his Indrik is secretly in Yarbox temple to perform a ritual that turns him into a living flame. Wonder why he needs that. And we got new information. Secret exit to the temple. Alright. Got new information, Yarbrook Temple does a gate locked with Imperial Seal. Yeah, we found another Emperor's Seal, that's true, and... Uh, repeating the same choices will not yield anything new, choose wisely. Okay. That was... I mean... How do you... I did not get any XP at all, I'm terrible at this game apparently. Alright, so I guess 
do we get some post credit scene or whatever that is or is it just back to the tree of life it is just back to the tree of life okay i mean the overall structure of the game there has to be traces of what the emperor did to the priestess buried secrets you can unearth but Ingrid would protect his secrets with lock and key. That sealed gate you saw in Yarbog's temple. A high-ranked imperialist like Draga may hold the key to such a seal. Okay, so I was saying that the... The overall structure of the game seems to be very close to what they did in the stories, but there is a lot more to it this time around, it seems. Okay, I do want Harbor Generagius, and I can buy health as well. Okay, cool. So health is the multiple bot, so you can buy two more. We have currency for that. Well, we have a lot more stuff. That's great. But, um, what is this thing? What? Ah, okay, so you can basically look at what you have uncovered. Holy shit, that is so much stuff. So we literally know nothing about the world, which is, I guess, good for you guys who are watching this, because um, if you want to play it yourself, then go ahead and do that, because I think that would be a perfect spot to stop the stream, because I would spoil everything for you. So if you think you would love the game, it is coming out on May the 15th. Um, it looks absolutely gorgeous, plays pretty good. I'm guessing the streaming problems uh, or like streaming software interferes a bit with the game. So the frame rate is a bit bonkers for me right now. Plus this is a preview build that includes a couple of bugs that will be patched on a day one. Um, so, you know, if this is the games, kind of a game you like, definitely do have a look at it. Highly recommend it, at least from my experience so far. It's been pretty great. Um, the game's called Omen Side. You can pick it up on Steam or Humble Bundle, I believe. Uh, whatever this the store that you wish. It's, I mean, I've enjoyed playing it. So, you know, have a look at it. Thank you for watching and I see you next time. Bye.